And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy, where I give you the rundown in 60 seconds or less. But we have Karolina Mukova from the Czech Republic. We'll need a little bit longer. This is the first half of the semifinal. We will know who will make the finals in approximately two hours. However, the experts think this is going to be a quick match. Get your popcorn, ladies and gentlemen. Karolina Mukova ranked 43rd coming into this tournament now finds herself inside the top 20 if she can win this match she will find herself herself inside the top 10 me personally i think she's a top 20 player for sure uh this is her second semi-final ever we saw her make the australian open semi-final a couple years ago where she just destroyed the draw ladies and gentlemen taking out asta panko big mama asta in the first round bartho she took out Pliskova, Elise Merton. She even beat Ashley Barty before being tripped up by Jennifer Brady. By the way, American tennis fans, what is going on with Jennifer Brady? I mean, let's just be honest. Osaka would beat Brady in the final, but in my personal opinion, I've said it time and time again, I, I do think this current top 10 is a little weak, but we're missing some key stars, guys. I mean, we potentially have one of the best top 10s ever. I mean, check this out. Uh, Jennifer Brady's MIA. She's injured. Hopefully, she'll be back soon. Naomi Osaka's taking a leave. Ashley Barty retired. Okay, add those names inside the top 10. This is one of the best top 10s ever. Ashley Barty, Naomi Osaka, Jennifer Brady. And then we have Iga. Sabalenka, Pigula, Coco, Carolyn Garcia, Zachary, Anz Jabor. Can't forget about her. She's big time. Come on, guys. That's a pretty star-studded top 10. Kasakina, who's a defensive powerhouse. Listen, guys. The game is headed in a beautiful direction. You have to be excited. But back to Mukova. Can she get the victory here? These two ladies played once uh, a few years ago. 7-5, seven, 7-6. Seven, pretty competitive match. However, that was when Sabalenka made a lot of double faults. If you follow the channel, I've been saying it for many, many, many years. Sabalenka has been one of the worst servers on tour when it comes to double faults. She's led the tour in double faults. She used to average eight per match, giving away two free service games. She's cleaned up her serve and she's worked on a lot of things. I've also told you I've watched Sabalenka practice several times. She spends hours on the court. Um, I haven't seen many players, especially top players practice as hard as she does so she is working on her game and we all know she wants to be number one but Sabalenka is going to have to win the tournament because it looks like Iga's Fiantek's on a roll I told you guys take Iga to win this French Open and I told you that a couple months ago this isn't new if you follow the channel Iga's got to win two more matches but the question is can Mukova trip up Sabalenka who wants her quest for number one Mukova, I'm a huge fan of her. I love the variety. For her to win this match, she's going to have to move Sabalenka front, back, side to side like a new dance move or something. Can she do it? Get your popcorn. This match is about to start. Tennis in a minute. Thanks, everyone, for all the love and support. The channel's growing, and we're only going to get better. I'm working on a segment that you're going to really love. Stay tuned.